Hi there. I just want to share with you today about why did David pick up five stones? You know, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40, it says, Then he took a staff in his hand, and he chose five smooth stones from the brook. And he put them in his shepherd's pouch. With a sling in his hand, he approached that Philistine. My friend, we need to know that we've got Philistines in our life. Why did he pick up five stones? Did he think he was going to miss five times? <laughs> I don't think so. Actually, if we, if we read scripture, there were five giants. We know the one was Goliath. The other one was Lami. There was another one called Ishbi Benob. Then there was Seth. And then there was the six-fingered giant. Do you know each one of these giants had a character which, which came out, which manifested in their name? I mean, Goliath, he manifested a spirit of fear and he brought fear upon the people. A spirit of fear is, is a verbally abusive spirit that undermines the very word of God concerning you. Well, Lami is a spirit of lust, Goliath's brother. You know, David never killed lust. Lust nearly killed David. And I want to say this, and I know this for my life, that if we don't deal with these little demon minions when we were a kid, when we were a child, these things will rise up and terrorize us for the rest of our life. We have to take them down. That's why David picked up five stones, my friend. Elkanan killed Lami. Let's have a look at this pride. Pride, pride stood for Ishbi Benob. Well, Abishai killed pride. Abishai killed Ishbi Benob. Hypocrisy? Well, that guy was he was he was the giant called Seth. And, and again, it was, oh, those are my dogs. Again, it was, it was one of David's servants that killed Seth. And greed, the six-fingered six giant? Well, you can guess who did that. That was Jonathan. Jonathan did it. I really believe that, that there are these, these demonic powers that have come up against us. And we need, we need to rise up, go down to the brook, pick up our five stones... And take them out. You say, well, what are my five stones? Help me on this one. Well, I'm moving my notes up quickly. The five stones are quite simple. Number one, the word of God is your number one stone. And we need to use the word of God to take down Goliath. Number two stone is the blood of the lamb. The word of the Lord says it is God's battle, not ours. The third stone is the word of your testimony. David said, the Lord who saved me from the claws of the lion, the bear, he will save me from this Philistine. The fourth stone is the, is the stone of faith. You know, David told Saul, I will go and fight this giant. And the fifth stone is the preparation. Preparation stone. You know, when you're faithful in the small things, then God will raise you up to take down the giants of the land. You can't fight the giants for the nation if you have not killed the little foxes in your own life. These little foxes are the ones that come and spoil the vineyard, that tear your life apart. So I pray for you right now. I pray that the Holy Spirit rest upon you. I pray that the presence of God use you to take out these little foxes in your life before they turn into mighty giants. I bless you. If you need prayer, please contact me and I will cover you and pray with you. Amen. Bless you.